NATO has accused Russia of wanting to cut internet off of 1 billion people. Yes, you heard that right. NATO says Russia wants to break internet access from people. The warning was issued by the Vice Admiral Didier Maluter, the Deputy Commander of NATO's Allied Maritime Command. He says potential Russia hybrid warfare threatens a billion people. So what they're saying is Russia is trying to break internet access from people, from 1 billion people. Okay, so who are the 1 billion people? They're talking about the one billion people they are talking about are Europeans and Americans. Obviously, you don't count. Only the Europeans and Americans are the people that could be affected by the internet breakage by Russia. How do they think Russia is going to break internet by destroying undersea cables that transmit internet in all continents in the world? I know many people don't know it. Many people think internet comes from space. No, it don't. Uh, internet is transmitted through the sea. There are major cables, undersea cables that goes across the world. Many cables go across the world for redundancy, providing internet to each continent. So the accusation of NATO is that Russia is looking to destroy these cables so that 1 billion people, we know 1 billion people, it's uh, Europeans and Americans. Because if you count Africa, it's way beyond 1 billion, you know, and, uh, and Asia, you know, 1 billion people, they're talking about Europe and America. 1 billion people will not access internet because of Russia. So now let's look into this very quickly. Who owns these cables? I know, fellas, many people think internet comes from space. Some think it's come from the air. No, no, it doesn't. Internet access that you have in your continent comes from cable and the sea. Great. Now, who owns the cable? The undersea cables are commonly owned by a consortium of investors. Not one person owns the cable. There are many cables, multiple cables that go all across the world. Here is a part of a breakdown of a structure of who owns the internet cables. Number one, we have telecom carriers. Major telecommunication companies provide internet and data service. Number two, we have content delivery providers. These are companies that deliver major amount of data, like Google, Amazon, Microsoft. Number three, we have investment groups, financial institutions looking to invest into infrastructure projects. These are like your banks, I mean your major big banks. And there's a very limited ownership from government. That's only 1% of the cables are actually owned by government. For the most cases, they're owned by private companies. So your access to internet today is because of multiple companies coming together to build these cables on the sea. I know many people don't know about this. Yeah, many people think internet comes from the air. Or from... Anyway, yeah, it's the sea. There are cables on the sea. Now, what's going to happen if ever Russia had to destroy the cable somewhere? Number one, it's going to be very difficult to do it without anybody noticing about it because of the sensors. Number two, even if they destroyed it, there is what they call redundancy. Redundancy is simply the ability for a system to keep functioning even if it gets damaged on one side. Meaning there are many cables that transmit data. Even if you destroy one or two or three or five or ten, there are more other cables somewhere else where the data can be transmitted from. Yes, you may have some connectivity issues, but internet may be slowed down, but it won't stop. Now, the issue is very simple. Is this a move perhaps to try to vilify Russia? trying to make them look bad. Or there is something else we don't know about. There's one person, you don't name him. You don't say his name. I'm sorry, fellas. I will not put a picture of him. I'm not going to say his name. He's a very prominent person and many presidents of the West respect him. This is a man that comes with concepts that many presidents accept without thinking. Yes, you know that person. He's a European person. He's a person that believes that you don't need anything. You will own nothing. You'll be happy. You will not own your house. You will rent it. You will not own your car. You will rent it. You do not need to eat meat. Instead of meat, he's going to provide you with insect burgers. Yes, hamburgers made out of insects. I think you know what we're talking about. If we think about it just a while back, he said the world should be ready for something big that's going to happen. What was that big thing that was going to happen? He was talking about a major cyber attack that would bring all the infrastructure down. Now, this major cyber attack that will bring the infrastructure down will be the reason why the world system will completely change. The monetary system, you will not use cash anymore. The ownership system, you will not own anything anymore because God Government will come together, sit together and restructure something new for the world. Now, my question is this. If Russia is planning to do something as drastic as that, how come we don't get information from South America or from Asia? We're getting information from NATO. 
Could this be perhaps a way of telling us in advance, we're about to do what we promised we're going to do? The cyber security attack that you were waiting for, it's actually ourselves trying to destroy infrastructure and blame it on Russia. I'm just saying. I'm just asking. That's a big question mark we need to know about. We also have another issue. I'm under the impression that the wrongs can only be done one side, not the other side. A while back, something big happened in Europe. Before the war started in Ukraine, Russia used to send a massive amount of gas to Europe. So Europe purchased gas from Russia at a very cheap and very affordable price. One of the major countries that got gas from Russia was Germany. I don't know if you remember when Donald Trump was saying that Germany needs to stand up. Germany needs to be stronger. Germany is totally controlled by Russia because they will get it from 60 to 70 percent of their energy from Russia at a new pipeline. And you tell me if that's appropriate, because I think it's not. And I think it's a very bad thing for NATO. And I don't think it should have happened. And I think we have to talk to Germany about it. On top of that, we're supposed to be protecting you from Russia. But why are you paying billions of dollars to Russia for energy? Why are countries in NATO, namely Germany, having a large percentage of their energy needs paid you know, to Russia and, and taken care of by Russia? Now, if you look at it, Germany is a captive of Russia because they supply. They got rid of their coal plants. They got rid of their nuclear. They're getting so much of the oil and gas from Russia. I think it's something that NATO has to look at. The reason why Germany will never be free as long as Germany still gets gas from Russia, which is a very cheap gas. And Europeans at the time could not take a very drastic decision against Russia because Europe was feeding off Russia's gas. Then what happened? They destroyed Nord Stream pipes. The goal was very simple, to take away from Russia the only tool Russia had against Europe. Because the Europeans were scared that if Russia switches off the gas pipe, Europe will not be able to take drastic decision against Russia because Russia was invading Ukraine. Now, who destroyed those pipes? Even in the United Nations, not many nations were ready to send investigators to go and check and verify who destroyed the pipe. I even remember the Scandinavian countries say, no, we don't need Russian investigators to come here. We have our own people to investigate because they were trying to cover up for somebody. Now, if they have destroyed international infrastructure in the past, who are they to give other people lessons about not destroying international infrastructures? Because they have done it themselves in the past. So the bottom line is this, fellas, don't be afraid. You're still going to do Netflix and chill. It's okay. You can call that girl over. Have a good time. You know, chill at home. Have some popcorn and stuff. Just make sure you don't have the popcorn before you do the deed. Okay. You just got to balance. You know what I mean? Who came up with Netflix and chill? That, that thing is satanic, man. Come on. Anyway, so things are still going to go on. I believe we need to be very aware of what's happening. The idea is they're planting an idea into people's minds. Are we seeing ourselves in a situation where they're trying to plant an idea into our mind so we can easily justify if ever they decided to destroy internet access from people? We can all know, oh, they've already told us Russia was behind this. Let me know how you feel about this. It's always a great pleasure.